Goodness me. Oh, you know what he's setting up with the punt? But with the pawn on G5, if this rook gets there, he's going to checkmate oh, him. Oh, he's, oh. He's, oh, my God. He set this up. No. It's checkmate. Oh, it's my goodness. Oh, my gosh. I the pawn on G5 is the hero. Thing. He set it up. He lulled him into a trance. Oh, thinking, my, oh my gosh. I'm just going to easily win. He set this up brilliantly with the pawn on G5. Rook C2. You gotta go. You've 16 seconds. Oh my gosh, it's rook, rook C1. C1 is good enough. It's the same thing. And he can just make a draw oh, there, right? A draw goodness. is a win. Oh, it's mate. Oh my gosh. Wait, is he gonna be in time? Oh, no, 15 he seconds. He found 15 the way. seconds. What a just what a great decision making by Ralph. Trick him. Try to confuse him. Oh my gosh, 12 Whoa. seconds. You gotta go. Oh, you got to go, Niho. No, he's going to move. Oh, he's going to B3, B2, B1. He can almost, like, pre-move it. B3. Oh, great. Oh, stop by Ralph. Yeah. Niho so fast. The speed. F2. Oh, you know what you should do? You should repeat moves. Okay, but F1 queen is pre movable and if you get the last piece off the board, you can't lose, and it's going to be mate. Oh, it's oh. mate. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Nihal Sorin wow. is a magician. And he wrecked him, Ralph. He eliminates the Azeri Grandmaster. What a brilliant display of pattern recognition from Nihal Sarin. We got to go back in time here. But a brilliant setup by Nihal. Rook B7 taking his eyes off his own king while trying to stop these pawns. And then rook c8 with the rook coming down to either c2 or c1. The pawn on g5 takes away the escape squares.